My name is Claudia Bartle. I am 35 years old. I have been working with Bosch now for 10 years. Um, before that, I studied communications at the University of Hohenheim in Stuttgart. After the trainee program, it's always the big question, what do you do? Um, within, actually, it was within my first rotation, I had a, a project which dealt with a multi-brand strategy for automotive aftermarket. And there I was in contact with one department lead and he asked me, I think after one year of the training program, if I would like to do a product manager position in his department afterwards. It was about bulbs um, in the automotive aftermarket and uh, that's what I did in the end. In my case, I was very sure that uh, this person wanted to have me on that position. So my negotiation position was quite strong. So I have to say I was very lucky with my mentor. Um, when I got to know him already uh, during the introduction process uh, before the trainee program, we got along together quite well and we are still in contact today. He still supports me and is there for personal consultancy. And uh, also during the uh, rotations at the trainee program, he uh, was very open in discussing with me my ideas, what I wanted to do. When I became sales support and channel manager in the division also automotive aftermarket in the business unit for spark plugs, I had to coordinate um, various countries, various regions and various sales departments all over the world and uh, it was a, a great opportunity for me because I got to learn leadership um, without having the hierarchical position to lead. So in my case the specific situation was that I was colleague when I was a uh, the sales support in the sales support and channel manager function and then I became group lead so the senior manager and uh, my former colleagues were then my employees right but it was not at all an issue because we got along together very well and I didn't change my behavior I always wanted to be who I am so I never tried to be somebody different um, and giving transparency to the people that you work with um, so that they don't have the feeling that the information is cut at a certain level but they are always involved. Although if they might have different opinions but uh, explaining to them why you decide the way you decide uh, then it's also they can live with it, right? It's just if you cannot follow the thoughts of another person and that's what I always try to live, to be very transparent and to be open um, and also be collaborative. So at the moment, I am director at the corporate um, headquarter of uh, Robert Bosch uh, Marketing and Sales. And uh, one big question for, for everybody is always how do you maintain your work-life balance? Uh, because it's an important one, because I uh, personally feel that you can only give your best at work if you also have the private life that uh, you are happy with. Since 2013, I have a little daughter. And that's why I looked for a position in the Stuttgart area then, um, which was actually not an issue. I had several talks with different people um, in the Stuttgart area to discuss what would be options. And in the end, I decided for this position. Um, what I uh, like very much is that it's also a strategic position where I have to do also conceptual work, uh, which I can also do in the evenings when the little baby sleeps. Uh, so I can uh, take the opportunity to leave the office and during two days per week a little bit earlier to have uh, an afternoon together with her and then continue to work when she sleeps. So of course, I mean, you can always imagine a career without the training program. It's just a great start. I think if today somebody would tell me, uh, you have again the opportunity to do two years of experience in various uh, divisions and to rotate, I would probably say yes I do it again because you get to know so many different uh, people um, so many different leadership styles as I already mentioned so many different topics at Bosch because Bosch is so diverse in topics that you get to know so many things in such a short time and the network that uh, you create during that time um, that lasts forever. If you need something, you can call them and you know each other. And I think this network is one of the biggest assets of the training program that you take with you afterwards.